Watch lovers, this is Brad from Brent Miller. And today I have a fun one for us. I asked two of our other staff here, two of my peers, my coworkers, David and Eroberto, to put together a three watch collection for $10,000 or less. And so that's what the three of us did today. And uh, to say this was an easy task would be, uh, uh, I'd, be I'd be lying. Um, it took me longer, I think, to put together a three watch collection for 10,000 than it did for the $5,000 video we did uh, a couple weeks back. So um, without further ado, I'll save my three for last and uh, I'll start off with David's three selections. So he broke it up. He broke his 10K up uh, kind of evenly with two bigger, more expensive pieces. He uh, selected the Tudor Black Bay GMT uh, at around $4,000 and the Breitling Limited Edition Top Time right around five. So um, essentially, uh, spent his 9,000, uh, a little bit over that, I think, cause the GMT's, um, for, I think 4,050. Um, so with what he has left, he, uh, he went with and gave me a watch actually that he owns. So he does own this watch. It's the uh, Seiko cocktail time and the, uh, kind of the rose gold. Um, so that's his three watch collection, um, under three or under 10 K. Uh, obviously, he got uh, he got a stainless steel bracelet in there. He got a chronograph in there. Uh, I would call his cocktail time more of a dress watch. So uh, I think he's covered sport, chrono, dress. Um, I, I can't argue with uh, with his direction or selection. And, and frankly, we can't argue with anybody's right. Watch collecting is uh, unique to the individual. Uh, I just think it's fun sometimes to to see what people would do if they uh, had the money we're buying. Uh, stating that David came at this with a perspective of he is buying to add to his collection. So he has a fantastic collection. Um, so these are the three he would add to his collection. Uh, Eroberto, he took the perspective of, I don't own a single watch, uh, although he does. Uh, if I was buying three watches for myself to start a collection at that 10K price point, where am I going? So most of his budget went towards this absolutely gorgeous Grand Seiko winter edition from last year. Uh, I think, what is it? The SBGA415, I think, um, is the uh, reference number. And I will put all of these in the description with our with our selections, um, with our, our total price points. Um, and so, again, a large majority of his budget, uh, 63, but I think he actually just went up to 66. Um, so I think we still have this one at, uh, at the 63 price point. So um, regardless, you can't argue with this. Titanium, lovely textured dial. Uh, his second pick, if I have to be honest, um, was actually the 38 millimeter Tudor Royal with the blue dial that we uh, actually had in stock until yesterday. So I told him, hey, I need a third watch. I don't have that watch to put on camera. So he went with the Tudor Royal. Um, I let him sneak in this 41 millimeter Black Bay uh, was his next pick. However, this does put him slightly over budget um, of his 10K. However, again, that Royal is about $1,000 less than, uh, than this Black Bay. So um, and then his third selection, bringing home the, uh, a, a diver, is the Seiko. This is the SPB 213, 148th Anniversary Edition. Um, and so, again, you know, looking at his selections, he's got a titanium. He's got a, a diver on a steel bracelet. And if he went with the Royal, he would have had another stainless steel integrated bracelet on that. And even with the 41. So, I got to ask him, he must be a bracelet guy. Uh, all three on bracelets. Um, I, I think you could probably pull, obviously if he had the Royal here, that could probably be his dress watch. Um, obviously the, the 213 is his sport dive watch. And then this guy is just a category of its own. Which brings me to my collection. I came into this as if I didn't own a single watch and I wanted to put together a collection at this price point, I would want a diver, I would want a chronograph and I would want a dress watch. So with that said, many dress watch options. The SBG, uh, Grand Seiko SBGW231 was an option. Uh, lately, I've just been staring at this Omega um, Deville Tresor. Uh, just the, the dial, the, I call it a linen dial on this. It's just absolutely lovely, um, you know, manual movement. So I spent the majority of my budget um, on a dress watch. Um, so if you don't wear a dress watch, I get it. You, you know, maybe you want three divers, you want all sports watches. But if you have a need for a dress watch and you would wear one, you know, obviously here we're in, you know, shirts and, and ties and a jacket. So I do wear uh, a dress watch. I just, I think this watch um, is fantastic. So enough about that. $6,500 of my budget went towards the, the Omega. Um, 
which left me with still wanting a chronograph. Uh, I went with the Hamilton uh, Mechanical Intramatic. I prefer the black dial over the white. Again, I like both of them. Um, I just, I like the black. I would probably look to maybe try to get the, the mesh bracelet on this as well to give me a, a different option, but I went with a chronograph. And then I do need a diver, I do need a sport watch, and looked over Seiko. I, I looked over several of the Seikos. Uh, Almost pulled out the SPB uh, 145, which was like the kind of like tropical bronze dial, the boutique uh, special edition. Um, at the end of the day, you know, if I was really buying these three, I would be buying this just because I think it's more versatile, the gray dial. Um, so SPB 143 here was my third watch. I also looked at the SPB 207, the um, green dial kind of MM200 style case. But again, buying three watches. So Brad selections right here, dive watch, chrono, Dress watch, a little bit short of 10K. Yeah, the Bertos got the winter snowflake, or I call it the winter snowflake, the winter um, four season. To the Royal or the Black Bay 41 and the SPB 213. And David Selections, the Tudor GMT. The limited edition top time, which the more I look at this is fantastic, and his own personal cocktail presage, cocktail time presage. So, let me know in the in the in the comments which one of these three you personally would pick, and then let me know what your three would be. Again, it doesn't have to be you know what we carry. We're uh, an authorized dealer for Tudor, Omega, Breitling. Um, Tag, Seiko, Grand Seiko, Hamilton, Shinola. But let me know what three you would pick. Again, um, just having fun with the exercise. I think we'll do one more of these at 20K um, and, and weeks to come. So thanks for watching. If there's anything I can do for you, shoot me an email, brad at brentmiller, brentlmiller.com, and I'll catch you in the next video.